Hello, my name is Aurika Sevitskaida. I'm a co-founder of HelmetBasedVentilation.com. I received a helmet from Amron International, and that's a new design that is for the non-invasive ventilation use. And uh, I had a chance to talk with Scott Ritchie. He's a VP of Engineering and Manufacturing at Amron International, and you can see his picture here behind me uh, with the helmet. He told me about the newest features of the helmet and uh, how it is comfortable for the patients and easy to use for clinicians. So this helmet uh, is a two-piece helmet and uh, it comes with the neck seal already attached to the bottom ring with the underarm straps and the top hood. So I will talk about the bottom piece first. As you can see, it is a solid plastic. There are no places where the moisture can get trapped or bacteria, so it uh, prevents from any uh, mold growth uh, and uh, it can be used for a long time for the patient. Also, it is very easy to clean and uh, all the instructions are on the website how to clean these helmets and it can be used for multiple patients. So the next seal is a uh, very strong. As you can see, I put a lot of stress on it. Uh, you will need to cut the hole based on the neck size. So I already did and uh, my neck size was 12 inches. So I cut the hole about that. And uh, as you maybe noticed, the neck opening is a little bit closer to the uh, back of the helmet and the main reason for it is the comfort so the patient can lay back uh, without pushing the ring uh, forward too much so it prevents the air leaks and also it is more comfortable for the patient. Now this part, the silicone part can be replaced and so if you wanted to use this helmet again and again, you just need to replace the silicone uh, neck seal. And the openings for in and out are on the bottom of the ring. And uh, one of the reasons is that it will reduce the noise uh, in a helmet. The multipurpose access port is right here in the middle. So you can fit the straw and the patient can have a sip of uh, water or uh, fluid or any liquid food. Also it can be suctioned. And now let's see if we can put these pieces together easily. So it snaps on very easy as you can see. And uh, what is nice about this helmet that it will hold the high pressure that is used for the non-invasive ventilation. The helmet will start to separate around 40, 50 uh, of PEEP and uh, that's a safety feature. And uh, you definitely wanted to use a lubricant on a ring so it's going to be even easier to snap on or off these two pieces. Now the top part of the helmet is a uh, very light, uh, again very nice solid plastic. Uh, there are some rips inside. This is why the helmet doesn't separate on a high pressure. And uh, we have an optical window which is uh, good not just for um, clear view for the patient, but also it keeps a, some a shape of the helmet and it keeps the plastic away from your face. Uh, you can see some hooks here where you can attach the underarm straps. All right, so I'm gonna put this on. You definitely wanna make sure you have two people who are putting the helmet on the patient. All right, it feels really comfortable. You want to make sure it goes. So it looks like a turtleneck, right? So it feels comfortable, uh, not too tight. I don't and uh, I don't see any 
uh, reasons why there should be air leaks. So it's really comfortable next seal. Now, uh, again, you will need two people to put the helmet together, but I'm gonna do it by myself. And uh, you can see how easy it snaps on. So in case if you need to access patient's face, you can easily snap the top off and do what you need to do with the patient and put it back on together. So uh, underarm straps go here. I'm gonna lay it back and see how it feels. It feels pretty comfortable. I don't feel any hard parts pressing on my neck. Uh, and also when it's inflated, so it's gonna be a little bit higher. So I don't, I don't see a problem here. So now I'm gonna take it off again. If you're doing this with the patient, you wanna make sure that you have two people who take the helmet off. So it's very nice design. Now, uh, what else is included in the, in the package? I received these clips. So these clips are for the older uh, design of the helmet that is used for hyperbaric oxygen treatment. That's the one that will separate under the high pressure. So if you, for some reason, you know, if you still have those helmets, you can also use them for the non-invasive ventilation. You just need to uh, add the clips. And uh, I can tell you these clips are definitely bulletproof. <laughs> they don't break. And I tried, I put them on multiple times. And what is nice now, these clips holding the helmet together, that's again, the old design of the helmet. And also now you can connect your underarm straps on the clip and use this helmet for the non-invasive ventilation. So as you see, the helmet is a very high quality. Uh, it is made for the non-invasive ventilation and I can see how physicians will succeed in uh, using this system with AMRA helmet. Thank you.